Adopt a Shelter Dog Month is coming up in October and here with more information on adopting the perfect pet for your family is Puppy Bowl referee and pet rescue expert Dan Shackner. Dan, good morning. It's so great to have you. Good morning. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Maddie. Hello, hello. Okay, so can you tell us and our viewers, you know, what exactly is Adopt a Shelter Dog Month and why is it important to bring awareness to it? Absolutely. Well, every October, rescues and shelters across the country, along with the ASPC and Humane Society, get together to promote animal adoption awareness. It's so important because 6 million dogs and cats are surrendered to shelters every single year. Only 4 million or so of them get adopted. That leaves 2 million languishing in shelters ready for a forever home. And so when you do adopt, you're giving a dog a second chance, but you're also making room in that shelter for the next dog. So you're, in a sense, saving two lives. Uh, you're, you're preaching to the choir here. We both are dog advocates, adoptees. We love them so much. How do you find that right, perfect dog that will fit right in that companion that's right for your family? Well, then I'm sure you guys would know that it's always a very personal uh, saga as yeah. you find that first dog, right? It's what's right for you guys. So you have to look within yourselves. How much energy are you willing to give to this new dog? Because you know any new dog, whether a puppy or an adult, are going to have time, need time to get acclimated. So how much time do you have to give? Do you work from home? Or do you have a busy lifestyle? Are you traveling all the time? Do you have a big yard? Do you have a small condo? There's a lot of factors to consider. How big is your household? Can, is it all hands on deck? Can everyone participate? Or is it just you? So once you have all that set, communicate that to your local shelter. In October, during this Adopt a Shelter Pet Month, there's going to be rescues that are giving you Adoption events, they'll be waiving adoption fees. They'll have big campaigns on social media. Connect with them, say, hey, this is who I am. This is what I'm looking for. Can you help me out? And they play matchmaker. These rescues, they've been doing this for, for decades. So they know how to match people with the right dog or cat. And you'd be surprised. You may go in thinking you need a little dog, but you wind up with, with a great Dane. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, keep an open mind. Yeah, exactly. And what should people, you know, be aware of, keep in mind, speaking of, uh, when they first bring that pet home? Oh, so many things to consider, but above all else is routine. We all know these dogs in these shelters, look, they've had their basic needs met in the shelter in terms of, hey, food and security and literal shelter, but not much else. So establish that routine so that they can feel safe and secure. Dogs love routine. They thrive on routine. From day one, here's where we sleep. This is when we sleep. Here's our mealtime. Here's where we go to the bathroom. Here's where we eat. All those things, all those timings, and stay consistent. Those first few weeks are crucial. Once they see that that's, okay, this is how we do it. This is our routine. They're gonna start, you'll see their personality will start coming out because they'll feel safe for themselves. They're like, okay, this is it. This is my home now forever. And um, you're gonna be able to get to that next level. Nutrition is important. Uh, it's important to find the right food after talking to your vet and making sure that everything's good and getting those metal medical records and getting the supplies down. Uh, start focusing on the right foods for your dog because that's gonna be key too. What, what healthy options do you have for food? I'm curious, because I have four dogs and I, I want the best food for them. Exactly, I mean, and I've only got one, but it can be overwhelming. Um, prior to this one, we've been fostering dogs for, for so many years. So we, we really uh, have tried almost everything out there. Uh, what we've landed on is Nutrish. We love them because they really have the emphasis on wholesome ingredients, balanced meals for every stage in life. And for someone like me that has fostered over 40 dogs, um, I've had them at every stage in life, so that's why nutrition is so important. I'm talking real meat, real fish, real vegetables, and they donate a portion of their proceeds to animals in need, which I love that that company has that initiative. Another good option is Nature's Recipe. Real recognizable, naturally sourced ingredients, high quality proteins like salmon, uh, chicken, lamb, uh, great veggies like peas and pumpkins. It's stuff that my dog absolutely loves. The focus is on nutrition from the get-go because again, while in those shelters, they may have had their basic needs met, nutrition wasn't top, top, top of the list. So as soon as you get that going and establish that routine, you'll see that dog of yours flourish or cat. <laughs> yes. Dan, I also, you said routine a few times, and I forget how important yeah. routine is for dogs, because at 6 p.m., my dogs are drooling and whining, because they know it's dinner time, and at uh, 7.30 yeah. a.m., drooling and whining. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, you've done a good job, clearly. They know <laughs> they have that internal clock, and it helps. I think it helps us, too. Look, we've all got busy lifestyles, you know, we're, and, and so are our dogs. Sometimes we forget. Dogs are like, hey, it's 6 p.m., it's time to go. That helps kind of motivate us, too, along our day. I love it. So if people want more information on um, everything you talked about, where can they go? 
Yeah, well, definitely connect with your local shelter for adoption information. And then for nutrition info, nutrish.com, naturesrecipe.com, two great resources. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate your time and all the great info. We are fur baby parents and we love them so much. So this is right up our alley. You are speaking our language, my friend. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Maddie. Appreciate it. Have a great day. You too.